Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into an interesting one today. Uh, Christian Billy versus uh, Rohan Murdoch. I, I didn't really know who Rohan Murdoch was. Apparently, he fought Zach Parker a bunch of years ago and got stopped. I had to pull some tape on him. There's very little tape on him. I got a little bit of, of tape on him. Uh, we're going to get into that. But before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog on all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight. Show you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. <clears throat> um, I am losing my brain today. It is late. It's already almost 1 o'clock in, in Texas. Uh, show you how to consistently make money. We don't gamble here. Um, like I said, I use DraftKings. We, you can't even use DraftKings in Texas. But if you do gamble, if you do bet on sports, I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing and be that second source of income for you. Also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. So I don't know if, if you guys are overly familiar with uh, Christian and Billy. Fun fighter, explosive, powerful, <clears throat> doesn't jab. Everything is powerful. Everything is big hooks, powerful right hands. Hang on. <coughs> I had to sneeze. Um, he's wild. He's athletic. He's not hyper athletic. He's a good athlete. You're going to see him, and, and you're going to see like a, you know, a Mike Tyson style. Like that, that's what he's looking to do. He's looking to destroy you. He's looking to take your head off. He's not patient. He's not going to box with you. He's going to come right after you. He's constantly seek and destroy. He also doesn't move his head, which makes him very easy to hit. But he's really good on the inside. When he can get on the inside, he's got the, those, those clean uppercuts. He can mix up head body. He'll, he'll rip the hooks to the body. There's a lot to like about him from a, a fan's perspective. He's a fun fighter. He's going to give you an entertaining fight. Like, that's for sure. That's something that we do know. He's going to give you entertainment. He's going to come after it. And he's it, it, he's going to knock you out or get knocked out like for the rest of his career. Like, that's kind of how I feel about him. He's short, powerful, explosive. He throws wide shots. Everything is wide. You know, the right hand he throws straight. But he, he, he winds up. He loads up on everything. He's looking to do one thing. He's looking to get rid of you. I wish he threw more straight punches. His, his lead hooks, he's ultra aggressive with it. He can be countered. He can be timed. But you have to be willing to stand in. Like, at this level, he's not going to lose. I don't think. Now, at a world-class level, he's not going to win. But we'll get to that later. He could, you know, with his power. But it's going to be real difficult for him because he's so aggressive and wild. He, and he's easy to hit. You know, I, I said you know, he had a little Mike Tyson. Well, Mike Tyson had world-class head movement. This guy does not. This guy's not going to sit there and slip shots. Not even at a Tank Davis level. It's not going to happen. But I said he's good on the inside. He can get on the inside. He can rip shots. He can, you know, he, he can score from the outside. If you can get on the inside, you're in trouble. Murdoch, Rohan Murdoch, who, again, I, I was not familiar with the guy uh, for good reason. From Australia, New Zealand, something like that. Good quick jab, got a nice little jab, but he leaves himself so wide open. He'll do things where he drops his hands, you know, keeps his hands at his waist. He's gonna get hit. He's gonna get tagged. You know, he's not ultra fast. He's not ultra powerful. He doesn't really even sit down with his punches. All he's got a decent knockout ratio. He leaves himself so wide open. He he likes to be off the back foot at times. He'll also come forward. He doesn't really have an identity as a fighter, which is why he's gonna get beat up in this fight. You're going to fight him, Billy. You need to establish a game plan. You need to know what you're doing and then do that because, like, this guy is looking to rip your head off. You know, this is like guarding Iverson was the hardest thing to do in basketball because he was looking to score 50 on you every night. Like, Iverson was looking to get 50. Uh, and Billy is looking to do the boxing equivalent of that. Like, he's looking to get 50 on you. Right? He's looking to hurt you. Additionally, uh, Murdoch has a pretty good, pretty good punch output, pretty good, pretty good volume. He likes to counter. He'll lead with the jab. He'll come forward. He's really bouncy. Yeah, waste a lot of energy. I think 
he's gonna walk into something. He's just not really that dude. Like I'm not saying he's a horrible, terrible fighter. You know, there's a place for fighters like this. Undercards, local shows, he can he can shine, he can do well. But when you move up, this is the wrong. He's gonna get bullied. He's gonna get bum rushed. He's gonna get his head taken off in this fight. It, it appears he's got a pretty good chin. Although I, I don't think it's gonna last here. It's just the wrong guy, the wrong style. He's gonna get hit. You know, the, the only question is when. And so I'm gonna show you how how to make money on this fight. The odds are what they are. I didn't know they would be so wide. Um, uh, for well, let's get to the odds. Let, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the odds. And Billy is at minus 1200. That's a lot. Uh, we're gonna put a two times bet on that, so that's minus 1200. A two times bet on that is gonna make you 1666. Which was making you that those are the odds, guys. The odds, the spread here is wide. Uh, maybe bring this down to 11 and bring this up to 8, you know, something like that. The spread's kind of wide. You know, I don't know if he really going to get anyone to bet on Rohan Murdoch. I don't really see how he has any path to victory. So gonna, we're going to make this a two-times bet. So in our case, $200. Just use easy numbers. And, and Billy by KO, TKO, or DQ is minus 300. That's a better bet. So we're going to put a one-times bet on that. So ultimately... We're going to make about $50 on a $300 bet. That's not great. We're bringing it down. We're bringing down the odds. The over-under, this depends on how good Rohan's chin is. I don't have a ton of tape on him, so I'm not going to wager how good his chin is. He is aggressive. My heart would kind of, if I had to bet, I would bet uh, under five and a half. I would definitely, I would probably lean towards the under, I'm saying, but I'm not touching it. I'm just taking him Billy on the money line times two and in Billy by KO, TKO, DQ on a one times bet. It's going to make you $50. Clean up. We'll continue to make money on every single fight. I feel like this is a pretty good lock. I really can't see Rohan Murdoch going the distance. He's going to get stopped. Like I said, he's easy to hit. He's Tay, and he's not that. Good. Like he's not a super skilled fighter. He's not a super athlete. I don't see how he can avoid him. He doesn't really look to avoid shots. He doesn't, he's not a cutie on his back foot running. This is just a a, a not a great opponent who's out of his league, who's gonna get caught with his hands down. It's it's not a super, it's not a super competitive fight, is what I'm saying. So I'm taking him, Billy. By stoppage, and it'll pay fifty bucks on a three hundred all bet. We we'll go on to the next one. We'll cast that money. We we'll go on to the next one. Uh, please follow me on all forms of social media. Uh, the boxing bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to make money consistently on the sport of boxing. Follow me on all forms at three D boxing, three D boxing blog, also at Texas Boxing Scene. It is January tenth. And we are absolutely killing it for you, by the way. We are absolutely killing it for you. It is January 10th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay in.